The universe, a massive galaxy, an infinite range of life, and the most amazing creation one can imagine. Science has been working in diversified ways to learn and discover more about life beyond Earth and what we have in outer space. Over the past years and centuries, we have seen countless discoveries from outer space, which included images of various planets, stars, galaxies, and so on. In the roleplay, NASA took part in various projects to capture the beauty of space. From the Hubble telescope to the James Webb telescope, we have been astonished by the beauty of nature numerous times. In this video today, we are going to talk about NASA's Webb telescope and its first ever direct image of a distant world. But first, we welcome you all to our channel. If you like our videos and are excited to see more of them, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos. Let's talk about the outer world. We all know that on December 25th, 2021, NASA launched its James Webb Space Telescope into space on an Ariane 5 rocket from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. For those of you who are new to this concept of discovery, this is NASA's most powerful and largest space scientific telescope. It is a top-tier telescope with a 6.5-meter primary mirror and a large infrared telescope. Webb will also look into every stage of our universe's history, from the first bright glows after the Big Bang through to the creation of our solar systems capable of supporting life on planets like Earth, as well as the evolution of our solar system. It will extend on Hubble Space Telescope's findings. President Joe Biden previewed the first full-color photograph from Webb on July 11th, 2022, the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe thus far. The image, dubbed Webb's first deep field, reveals a galaxy cluster which contains thousands of galaxies, including the tiniest objects ever recorded in the infrared. The following day, July 12, 2022, new photographs were released demonstrating the powers of all four of Webb's cutting-edge scientific instruments. Now fast forward to September 2022, the recent discovery which shook us all. Yes, I'm talking about the Neptune rings captured by the James Webb Telescope. Not just that, astronomers have used NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to capture a direct image of a planet outside our solar system for the first time. Hello HIP65426b. That jumble of letters and numbers belongs to an exoplanet that has the distinction of being the subject of the first direct photograph of a distant world taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The exoplanet is a gas giant approximately 6 to 12 times the mass of Jupiter, which means it lacks a stony surface and could not support life. The photo, which was captured using four different light filters, demonstrated how Webb's powerful infrared gaze can readily capture worlds outside our solar system, opening the way for future discoveries that will unveil more data about exoplanets than ever before. Sasha Hinckley, Associate Professor of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom, who directed the observations with extensive international cooperation, stated, this is a momentous moment, not only for the web, but for astronomy in general. The European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency are partners in the international project known as WEB, which is coordinated by NASA. You might not be surprised by the level of detail in these new planetary images, but the scientists who took them were. Sasha Hinckley explains, I had to be sure I wasn't looking at a simulated image. It looked like the model photos from five years ago when we presented our presentation. The photos of HIP65426b show that the James Webb Space Telescope is exceeding expectations in its exoplanet studies which is one of the telescope's four primary research areas. This indicates that JWST's upcoming attempts to observe other exoplanets will almost certainly be more successful than researchers had thought, and that astronomers can be even more aggressive when presenting plans to JWST's governing body in future research cycles. The planet was discovered in 2017, but astronomers using the SPHERE instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile, and photos of it were taken using short infrared wavelengths of light. At longer infrared wavelengths, Webb's vision shows new details that ground-based telescopes would be unable to detect due to the intrinsic infrared light of Earth's atmosphere. Because HIP65426b is nearly 100 times more distant from its host star 
star than Earth is from the Sun. Webb can easily discern the planet from the star in the image. Webb's near-infrared camera system and mid-infrared instrument both include coronagraphs, which are little masks that filter out light allowing Webb to take direct photographs of exoplanets such as this. NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which is scheduled to launch later this decade, will feature a more refined coronagraph. It nearly seems impossible to see a weakly lighting firefly fluttering beneath a brilliant stadium light from your seat across the field. Exoplanets can be discovered with the correct technique. The James Webb Space Telescope research instruments used by Hinckley and Carter are developed in part by Charles Beichmann, director of NASA's Exoplanet Science Institute. When you launch something, you construct it to set specifications, he explains. Then there is a set of what we call desirements. The latest exoplanet photos show that JWST's equipment is meeting everyone's expectations. You have crisper images, less jitter, and the detectors are working a little bit better. JWST can directly observe many smaller exoplanets than any other telescope has in the past, even smaller than researchers had hoped. Exoplanets are difficult to directly photograph since stars are much brighter than planets. In the near infrared, the HIP 65426b planet is more than 10,000 times fainter than its host star and only a few thousand times fainter in the mid infrared. The planet appears as a slightly different shaped blob of light in each filtered image. This is due to the specifications of Webb's optical system and how it converts light through the various lenses. Aaron Carter, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of California, Santa Cruz, who carried out the picture analysis, said that it seemed like we were seeking for interstellar treasure. Initially, all I could make out was starlight, but with careful picture processing, I was able to block out that light and make the planet visible. While HIP 65426b is not the first direct image of an exoplanet taken from space, the Hubble Space Telescope has already captured direct planetary photographs. It does pave the way for Webb's extraterrestrial exploration. We will learn a lot more about physics, chemistry, and the origins of exoplanets thanks to the upcoming picture releases. We might discover previously undiscovered universes. The team is collaborating on a research paper that will go through the peer review procedure of publication before being released. However, the preliminary results are already a reason for celebration. Webb, which deployed in late 2021 after a lengthy placement process, has already provided a diverse bouquet of photographs and observations ranging from stunning nebulas to detecting carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of an exoplanet. HIP 65426b views may appear to be luminous blobs, but they are only the beginning. A glimpse of the great science is yet to come. After all these amazing interventions, what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know what you think in the comments section down below, and if you have any suggestions for anything that you would want to see next, we are more than excited to hear from you. With this, we wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel and keep supporting us. Until next time.